welcome back to my channel today it is april 1st happy april to everyone it's a new month new goals i'm gonna take you guys along with me today show you guys what i eat in a day my daily routine um it is currently it's 8 56 i just finished an hour on the walking pad while i was working i want to show you guys how many steps i did what time it is and how many calories i burned within just 60 minutes it is crazy i love working in the office but i also love working from home because i'm able to stand i'm able to walk whereas like when i go into the office literally I'll only get like a thousand steps in that day. It's like ridiculous because I'm stuck at my desk and I can't stand and I can't walk. So anyway, let me show you guys. And yes, I put my Apple Watch on my ankle. It's more accurate because um, they're actually counting my steps. Whereas if it's resting on my wrist, my wrist is resting while I'm typing or like on the mouse and it's not counting my steps. So this is very, very accurate. So I, so it's 8.58. I walked for 62 minutes, burned a total of 277 calories. I walked for two miles, 5,340 steps, all before 9 a.m. This is amazing. My goals, I wrote down in my notes, my April and May goals, just because like guys, I'm trying to get back to 150, 160. I'm at 170-ish right now, so we need to get back to our goals. So I have a whole list that I'll share with you guys right here. I put it in my notes um, last night and I said, you know what, like April, there needs to be like more changes. I've been making lots of positive changes and the scale has been going down, um, but just not as quick as I know it could. And I'm getting older, guys, so I feel like when I was losing a lot of weight back when I was 25, it was much more easier. And now I'm 28 and I just, I just feel it. So I know that this time around, this is going to be my last time losing weight. Like I will never allow myself to gain weight ever again because I know how hard it is to lose it or try to lose it and I'm, I'm fearful that one day as I age I'm not going to be able to lose um, and be at a happy weight so I promise to myself this is the last time we're going to do this once I get into the 150s and 160s again I will not go up I will maintain my weight and be at a happy weight so that is the promise to myself this time around i'm going to just sit on my chair now and work i need to wash my face i feel a little sweaty so i need to wash and do my morning facial or face routine um and then i have my i do have coffee it's just hot coffee here with a little bit of it's like the the k-cups folgers k-cups medium roast and I added a little bit of 2% milk, so no sweetener. Um, okay, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. believe it is 11 o'clock and I've not done my skincare yet I told you guys after I walked I was gonna do my skincare but then I got super busy with work I finally have a moment now maybe So I'm gonna boil two eggs here and I'm not gonna cook them like all the way. I kind of want the yellow to be kind of soft, but like obviously cooked, but like still soft. So I am just gonna boil these for like seven minutes. And then we've got turkey bacon. So we're gonna throw a few of these in the air fryer. This is from Walmart. So I feel like these are gonna like shrivel up and become more of like chips. I don't know why this brand always does that, but whatever. Do you see this, guys? I don't know why they always shrivel up. Oh my god, I hate it. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna make it on the stove and see if it cooks better. Because I cannot eat that. Okay, we're just gonna do three. So this did come out a little bit better when I cooked it on the stove, so that's good. 
And then we're gonna add just a little bit of this, this uh, everything but the bagel seasoning mix. Right on top. Okay guys, and this is my simple breakfast. We've got some medium hard boiled eggs, three pieces of bacon, and three large strawberries. Um, so yeah, let's have breakfast and I'll see you guys at snack or lunch or dinner, <laughs> whatever. Whatever is next. Okay guys, it's time to make dinner. It is almost five o'clock. So for tonight, we are going to make something that Jamal kind of grew up on. Um, he loves to have it once in a while. It, he calls it his Uncle Paul's specialty. And basically it just consists of like kibasi sausage, potatoes, and onions. So I'm gonna make that for them in the kit for him and the kids. Um, and then I'm also gonna make my low carb version of it. That way we can, you know, all eat together tonight and we're ultimately kind of eating the same thing. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm making my low carb. Um, and I know it's gonna be so so good. So yeah, let's make it. So this is their side here. So they're gonna be using, or I'm gonna be making it, but they're gonna be eating it with um, red potatoes and then also this turkey kibasi sausage. I also have another turkey kibasi sausage and then I'm actually gonna pair mine with this garlic butter green bean. So we're gonna make it the same exact way, season it the same exact way. I'm actually gonna use probably like a um, one and a half for them and then I'll just use like one half for me since it's just me. So, all right, let's make it. Guys, we're gonna start off by using avocado oil. We're gonna do salt, garlic powder. Sorry, that was onion powder. This is garlic powder. Paprika, and finally black pepper. avocado oil so the key is that you want to keep it on low to medium yeah. we are also going to do avocado oil so we want to cook the green beans first all right and then we're going to add our turkey kibasi and mix this together and paprika yeah. and then we'll just cover all right i think mine is ready and so for this one i put the other half in the air fryer and then i literally just combined it together so now it's just cooking all together kids plates Got a little bit of everything, green beans, potatoes, sausage, ketchup. All right guys, my turn. Okay, and this is my plate. It's still, not plate, it's a bowl. My bowl, it's still pretty hot, so I'm gonna let it cool down. I am gonna put like a little bit of ketchup on top though. Um, so, yeah. Hey guys, we're ending the night with some watermelon. Yay! Watermelon. Say watermelon. Watermelon. Okay, go ahead and sit down and eat, okay? Micah too. Yeah, Micah too. So. Mmm. Mmm. It's so cold and refreshing. Mmm. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I'm gonna take you guys along again with me today, show you guys what I eat in a day. So yesterday I had the um, green beans with the turkey um, turkey kibasi sausage. And even though it was like turkey, I feel like every time, and I'm just speaking for myself, every time I eat anything that's like overly processed, like meat like that, I just, the next day I feel super heavy. Like typically I feel like that when I eat a lot of steak, which is why I haven't eaten a lot of steak lately. Um, if you guys know, like I 
I used to make steak all the time, but I don't know, it just made me feel very heavy. So anyway, the turkey kibasi also made me feel very heavy, but it's obviously like super overly processed, which is probably why. Anyways, I, so we just went to Gabe's, which is like kind of like a Burlington Ross type of store, Marshall's type of store. And I bought more um, meal prep containers. And all of this cost me $15. So I am so excited. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And like, okay, so this is the first one. This is a 20 piece set. So there's 10 and 10. And I did, I had to buy two because I had a coupon. I wasn't at the goal, the $20 goal yet. So I just grabbed another one. Um, and um, so I, that's why I bought so many. But anyway, so this is such a cute color, but I love how there is two separate like sections. You guys can't really see. So there's like a large one, it's pretty deep and then a small one. So typically I'll put like my salads here and then like the protein and then like maybe like cucumbers or strawberries or something here um, for my meal prep. So that is awesome. That's 10, that's a lot already. And then I initially got this one. This one isn't as deep, but I really liked how like the thing divides and it's just like really pretty and cool and i really love the color oh this is a 24 piece set so there's 12 wow so i got um 12 and 10 is 22 so 22 pieces of meal prep storage containers and then i got these little containers as well this was 4.99 and so basically you can just i guess you could put anything in here fruit granola um any dressing condiments so i love how like there's so many and they're like just different shapes so anyways that is what i got okay guys it's time to break my fast um, it is noon. I have this Mediterranean crunch chopped salad. I don't use the dressing or anything. I just use the actual like greens and salad. Then I have my salmon on top and then I put sriracha and mayo. The salmon is still in here. I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna transfer it and put it over um, a salad to eat um, for the weekend. And then one of my favorite things that I discovered accidentally, I love this stuff. So this is sriracha and QP mayo. I'm running out actually. Put it in the microwave for a minute and then I just cut up these cucumbers and it makes like such a tasty cucumber, like kind of like, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a cucumber salad, but it is just so good guys try it and i again i accidentally discovered this so anyway i'm gonna have my lunch we're just gonna have a little cucumber salad on the side um and then my salmon salad okay guys it's time for a snack i brought everything upstairs because i need to continue working it's 3 40 so we are gonna make one of my favorite little snaps. I have been craving something sweet. So this is one of my favorite yogurts. It's not labeled as keto friendly or low carb. However, the entire thing only has like nine grams of carbs. There is 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, and zero grams of fat. So, and this is the um, vanilla flavor. So I love this. Then I also have two strawberries that I just kind of diced. I'm gonna also add some of these dark chocolate chips. There are no sugar added. These are low carb, specifically no sugar. Let's throw some of this strawberry in here first. We'll throw about a tablespoon of chocolate chip. And this is gonna be my little snack. I'm not sure what we're having for dinner yet, but Cheers. Mm. Mm. Such a great combo. I love chocolate and strawberry. I love chocolate covered strawberries. I just love this. It's so good. Mm. Okay guys, so I am already in my pajamas and my robe. I'm cleaning up the kitchen, so there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot going on. But we ordered Jimmy John's for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I heard all about this 
yummy jalapeno ranch sauce. So I got a number nine. I think it's like a, I don't know the exact, actually I have the receipt here. So I got the number nine Italian club, but I got it as an unwitch. So what that means is that they just wrap it in lettuce. Um, so this is a keto friendly um, unwitch and you can make any of their subs or their hoagies, whatever you wanna call it, into an unwitch. And like, oh my God, so good. So I think this comes with like salami, capicola, provolone cheese, um, and then it comes with like mayo, tomatoes, lettuce, and ham, I think. But look at this, it is wrapped in lettuce. And then we're gonna have dinner together. So yeah, it's wrapped in lettuce. Let me just taste this ranch. Ooh, that's good, it's jalapeno ranch. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. So, I'm gonna just dip in here. And it's so big, I probably won't eat the whole thing. Mmm. 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 This is probably the best, like, lettuce wrapped hoagie I've ever had. I'm gonna save the lettuce on the side that way when I get too much meat, I can just, just peeling it down. This ranch sauce is so freaking good, you guys. Yeah. Mm. Okay guys, I'm full. I'm gonna save this for tomorrow, but I ate a little bit more than half. This ranch is so freaking good, you guys. It's a jalapeno ranch. You can dip anything in, it's so good. Okay guys, I'm in bed now. I'm gonna edit this video, but thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Two days of what I eat in a day. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.